welcome back everyone. Toysh is here, and as we round out 2023, we gotta get to talking about all the different toys and action figures that pretty much blew our minds for this entire year. And there certainly were a lot of them. But I remember sitting at San Diego Comic-Con, I remember the McFarlane Toys panel, and I remember them putting that right on the screen. And that's why my number one pick for the 2023 Best WTF Surprise has to go to their Batman and Robin DC Multiverse line. Now, they do have some great packaging, very reminiscent of the old Batman and Robin wave and all the marketing material, of course. And as far as character selection goes, don't be clueless because we have Alicia Silverstone as the one and only Batgirl. And on the villain side, Uma Thurman sporting her best Poison Ivy attire. That was always very interesting. And we have Chris O'Donnell as Robin or Nightwing or the mishmash of the costume, whatever he's supposed to be. But tried and true. And uh, before his Nespresso days, we have the one and only George Clooney as Batman. Yeah, that all blew our minds back in the day. But most of all, with this wave, I love that in 2023, there is a giant photo of the Build-A-Figure, which is none other than Arnold Schwarzenegger as Mr. Freeze. Just embed that image into your mind for all days. So here's everyone out of the packaging, all five figures, and they look pretty darn stellar. As much as I load this film when it came out, yes, it's come back around as a so bad, it's great. But I'll tell you what's awesome is the likeness in the head portrait for Alicia Silverstone. I really like what they did with the hair. They gave her kind of that dirty blonde wash. The eyes are great. Everything looks fantastic. The costume, the sculpt. Now, she is a largely all black figure, which is befitting of the source material. She has this very cool draped looking garbage bag of a cape, which again is very fitting. It's very thick though, so it won't move around too much, but you can get all those shots from the Schumacher angles, if you know what I mean. Plenty of articulation for those of you out there that are looking for that. From the biceps to the double jointed elbows, the wrists, one heck of an ab, waist, everything with the legs, they kick all the way out. She's got double jointed knees, and of course, she's got some boot and toe rotation. So you can kick a proper Uma Thurman in the face if Poison Ivy is running amok in Gotham. Or you can simply just have her stand there shooting the breeze with Uncle Alfred right before he suits her up. This is a great Alicia Silverstone Batgirl and one that I'm happy to have in my Batman collection. And Uma Thurman as Poison Ivy is no different. She really does take the cake in terms of vibrancy and one heck of a paint deco. The costume is beautifully rendered. All the ivy, everything down to her big old heels and she's got peg holes, but not to worry. She actually stands quite well, oddly enough. But yes, this is the standout figure of the wave. Now she does have some thick red locks going on. It's going to be kind of difficult to move the head portrait around. Don't get me wrong, but you're going to get enough rotation out of it to utilize the poison ivy. And I just love how the gradient goes from green to black on her tights to her boots. She's got an excellent paint job and excellent articulation to boot. Ab crunch, double jointed elbows, double jointed knees, the wrists, just a little bit of ivy, maybe a plant or two, some kind of accessories. And that's across the board for these figures would have been nice. And I love that they sculpted a little ivy plant in her hand. Not on the other hand, unfortunately, but through and through, like I said, she's got just a great smorgasbord of everything that brings the Uma Thurman Poison Ivy character to life. And don't forget, every Poison Ivy action figure comes complete with her very own Bane. No, sadly, we did not get the BNR Bane, but definitely sound off down in the comments below. Would you like to see them? do a BNR Bane. I guess at this point, yes, I would love to see that. Now, onto the Build-A-Figure for Arnold Schwarzenegger's Mr. Freeze. He does come with his Freeze gun, which is amazing to see. Perhaps we're seeing a change-up in WB management. He does hold it quite nicely. You can do all the different Mr. Freeze puns, complete with an icy blast. A little bit of a paint wash would have been nice on the gun, but I do love that the Freeze Blast is removable. That is a nice touch. And for a cool as a cucumber character as Mr. Freeze, yeah, you definitely need his signature weapon. And I gotta say, the head portrait on Arnie right here does look like him, although it gets a little uncanny valley when you start to rotate him. Certain angles, right? The rest of the body could have definitely used a wash, but I would have loved to have seen the blue clear plastic 
go throughout the rest of the figure. I think that's the one hiccup with this figure that would have really elevated it besides a wash. But I digress. You can even see all little sculpted details that you never saw before in the film, like the skull tramp stamp on his butts. Who knew that was there? You get plenty of articulation in the head. He does have single jointed elbows and single jointed knees. That will probably irk a few folks. But like I said, in the context of Batman and Robin and how Mr. Freeze is basically just a character that stands there most of the time. He's got some flappy shoulder pads, which aids in the whole arm articulation, which you can remove. But I digress. It's a fantastic looking Arnold Schwarzenegger, Mr. Freeze. Now, talking about Freeze, we do have some Freeze effects that come with the Chris O'Donnell Robin. And I got to tell you, they do look great. But I'm not too sure how these are supposed to clip on. I managed to figure out something, which is fairly reminiscent of the film. But I got to tell you, that's a great Chris O'Donnell likeness right there. From the head portrait to the body to the colors. Yes, he is largely a darker red and a black character in the film. And yes, the action figure definitely matches it with all the different sculpted details. It really does stand out along with the cape that's a little bit thinner than Batgirl's, but not quite as malleable as you'll soon see on Batman. But again, I love the articulation. Everything really works with these characters. And I'll tell you, across the board, I would have loved to see some interchangeable hands, if anything. That way they could possibly hold some batarangs, some accessories, something like that, of which none of them come with accessories, minus the freeze effects and, of course, Freeze's gun. But yes, that would have been nice. Perhaps something on subsequent reissues, re-releases, change-ups, we might see more accessories, hand swap-outs, and whatnot. But, in all honesty, for what we're getting for this type of collection, couldn't be happier. And you see the same type of particle ice effects with Batman, although these are more suited for when they're in the silo, and Batman has been ice welded to the sides, right? <laughs> Love that, even though back in the day, not so much. George Clooney as Batman, though, does look fantastic. That's George Clooney under the mask and the body is sculpted beautifully he's all a solid black plastic there's no paint wash to him but i love the rubber cape on this guy it's not a cloth cape but it is a very malleable rubber cape and i would like to see more capes like this or to be honest go more cloth cape like in the six pack but it really works for this type of character. However, it's not rubbery enough to fit him in the Batmobile. Along with the articulation as the rest of the wave, you'll get plenty of movement out of this figure. And I just love how you can pose him, right? Very reminiscent of Batman and Robin. And I just absolutely love it. Time has certainly healed all wounds with Batman and Robin, and they just fit together so beautifully. I love the way that looks. But I gotta tell you, as good as these figures are in the truest sense of the DC multiverse, that's where all the fun is to be had because George Clooney and Chris O'Donnell, well, definitely they go together quite nicely, but you can do a what if and see how Michael Keaton pairs up with this Robin or even Robert Pattinson. So sky's the limit in terms of displayability, but it's all the villains too, where you can really have a lot of fun. And this is every bit the fun of action figures on your toy shelves from Mattel to McFarlane. Yeah, you can definitely have a blast posing these out. Take over Gotham, Gotham criminals. But in terms of vehicles, while this is the Batman 89, Batman Returns Batmobile, if you got a Michael Gow Mattel action figure with Batgirl, Robin and Batman, they definitely go together nicely. So that'll wrap it up for my number one choice for 2023's best WTF surprise, the McFarlane Toys Batman and Robin DC Multiverse Wave. Cross the board, great likeness, great fun to be had in displayability and just talking about it. It's all the different actors we all grew up with in the 90s right there on our toy shelves. And again, as bad as the movie was, and I know a lot of people will say, oh, it's just cool to rag on it, just to hate the film. No, if you went to see that film after reading 90s comics, being a fan of Batman the Animated Series, and loving Batman forever, this was a complete flip. And it just did not work. But like I said, Joel Schumacher was on to something. I get it. It's very Batman 66 nowadays. But I'll tell you, it's an infinitely better watch than anything that Zack Snyder has done, right? 
I know some of you will let me know about that down in the comments below. But you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Batman and Robin. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, stay tuned to tomorrow because when gargoyles come alive, evil can't survive. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.